Good morning, everybody. Evan Griggs, educator for Minnesota Trout Unlimited, uh, coming at you live from Seneco Lake. Uh, we're going to do some pretty cool stuff here today. This is a uh, designated trout lake within the Seven County Metro, uh, and we're going to be helping put some trout in here for the ice fishing season. Stick around. Fish truck is here. <laughs> All right. go so they pumped in the yearling sized fish those guys are about 12 to 14 inches we also have about uh, 100 brood stock fish which are really big so each individual tank here holds a few hundred fish you have a few hundred gallons of water switch the tube on the truck and we'll come flying out of here. <laughs> so the brood stock fish are too big for the tube so we're scooping them by hand with nets got about a hundred of these guys and they uh they're upwards of five pounds or more Whoa! look at those fish wow Jeez. look at that <laughs> there we go. There's the big brood stock. Nice. Wow. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Can we come out here and start fishing for these guys? The, it's yeah, the 16th or 18th of January. I, okay. I don't remember the exact start sure. date, 21, but awesome. yeah, Seneco, you can't fish till the opener. Okay, cool. Right on. Well, thanks guys. That was sweet. <laughs> They're already rising. So on the bottom here, you can see a lot of those big broodstock fish just laying on the bottom. Uh, a lot of people, if you just walk up and see this, you're like, oh, they're all dead. They're actually just in shock. Imagine this. You, were, you just drove all the way from Lanesboro, like over two hours, in a metal cage. Uh, and then your water in, the, in, your, in your cage on the truck was pretty warm. Uh, and you got dumped into a lake. And this lake is uh, probably about 32 degree water. There's ice on top of it. 
So they're just in shock right now. They're cold-blooded, so they're acclimating to the new temperature. So after they warm up for a little bit, like this guy over here, they'll uh, acclimate, get a little uh, more used to their environment, new environment, and they'll start swimming away. There's one that woke up. He's swimming around, doing good. Hey, buddy. You're huge. Jeez. So a lot of these big ones, these broodstock fish, uh, they are about four years old. And they put them in here because they would like uh, to get different genes going at the hatchery in Lanesboro. So every few years it's good to mix up their, their broodstock to get a different strain of genes going. Uh, so the hatchery fish uh, that are stocked into places like Whitewater or uh, other popular lakes around the state and rivers across the state. Uh, so those gene pools stay healthy. Um, you can tell the difference between the yearling and the broods. Uh, the yearlings are these guys down below me here. They're about uh, like usually 12 to 14 inches long compared to the brood stock. Dun, 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 dun. Big Godzilla fish uh, that, are, that are just huge. In the hatcheries they are fed fish pellets, big, big pellets. Uh, so they are able to grow really fast. Uh, in the wild, we usually don't see, see trout 12 inches um, until they're 3 years old. But like we just said, those big brood stockfish are like uh, this size in 4 years. Pretty dang cool. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, I know I'm super stoked to see giant fish being stocked. I uh, hope you are too. I will post uh, the official uh, ice fishing season for you so you know when you can come on out here and try to catch some of these monsters. Uh, happy Watershed Wednesday. We'll see you next week.